Let's get to the most important question in this interview. You ready for it? Yeah, okay. I'm always ready. All right. Do you believe as an American, not as a former president, do you believe as an American that Joe Biden, the president of the United States, is in cognitive decline? Look, I don't like to criticize other people. He certainly ran a campaign where he didn't work and it was a rigged deal and somebody was running it. I don't believe it was him. I really don't believe it was him. There are other people running. You know the people that I'm talking about. I certainly know the people that I'm talking about, but I don't think he's running a lot. He certainly doesn't work very hard. Does he, has, he understand? I don't know. If you watch, if you watch him on television, uh, you would certainly not think he understands too much. Do you think much. he understands macroeconomics? I don't think he understands anything. But I don't get involved in that bill. That's for other people but to say. But do you say. think he's just not intelligent or he's losing Well, I can, I'd rather capacity. speak to his past. In his past, he was not known as an intelligent person. Now, I think there's something else going on. But in his past, he was never known as, like, if you said, who are the smartest people in the Senate? His name was not exactly at the top of okay. the list. So you don't think he was ever from the jump? one of the brightest bulbs. Well, the amazing thing, he ran for president numerous times. He never got more than 1%. All of a sudden, he wins. Now, he wouldn't have won, except that Elizabeth Warren didn't get out on Super Tuesday. He would have been beaten badly by Crazy Bernie. Here's a question I've always wanted to ask you, um, and I hope you answer it. What did you write in the note that you gave to Joe Biden when you left the White House and he came in? I, I can't tell you that. And I think it's up to him, but he actually says it's up to me. But it was a warm note, and it was a note saying, do a good job. You're there. Do a good job. But I think it was a very warm note. It was and a I think positive I, note. I, I think I had an obligation to be positive, yes. You didn't because say the I election love, was rigged or anything? In, in no, the note. I didn't talk about that. I didn't okay. talk about the election, frankly. The election was rigged, and that's coming out, but I didn't talk about okay. that. Now, here's something you and I talked about years ago, and I know you were concerned with it, and that's the rising violence on the streets of Chicago, New York, and other cities. Democrat-run cities. Why is that happening? Uh, because they've taken away the authority of police. The police are not allowed to do their jobs. Uh, the stop-and-frisk program that we had very successfully in New York, people are ashamed of it. I watched uh, Bloomberg get up and totally denounce stop Are they just this. misguided or, or they do they want to destroy the police? I think they're, yeah, they want to destroy the police. Why? They want to destroy. And now they're saying, oh, we don't want to defund the police. They are a party of misinformation, the Democrats. These are all Democratic-run cities.